Governor, Governor, Governor talk- after the JCAR uh, hearing a couple of uh, days ago regarding the assault weapons ban and the um, registration requirement, um, there were some unresolved issues that um, were pushed to the January 16th meeting. Um, you know, are you concerned that maybe this whole process of getting everything implemented in time for January 1st you know, hasn't gone as smoothly as hoped, or, you know, and, and, you know, that there could still be some confusion of people who, from people who may not know whether they're in compliance with the, with the law? Well, let's start with the fact that uh, I expect that we will continue to have the emergency rules in place. That's the case. And uh, up until the final uh, decision by Jay Carr about the permanent rules, which I expect will be um, approved, uh, whether it's in January or in February. How can you enforce a law where there's confusion of the rules? Though? You've got this possibly leading to a class three felony, people would lose their rights. To well, that's, that's an exaggeration that often occurs in right-wing media. The reality is that most people really do understand these rules. And by the way, people are actually signing up, uh, registering their automatic uh, assault weapons, their, um, their uh, uh, high-speed, high-capacity magazines rather, and um, and, you know, as we get closer to it, we're seeing more and more people actually do what they're required to but do but under the, the law. the place right now, mm-hmm. the airsoft hand, uh, you know, grips can yeah. be considered uh, an assault weapon attachment. Remember that the permanent rules are coming. Uh, there's another meeting of JCAR coming in January. I, I really expect that there's a... Uh, a widespread understanding of what people need to do and to the exceptions I would just argue you'll know the answers over uh, the next month or so and there, and nobody is getting uh, you know charged arrested as you know the first uh, commission of a violation is a misdemeanor if it even gets charged the second uh, violation however is a felony so I encourage everybody that has an assault weapon to actually go online or otherwise to make sure that they're registering it. So the Seventh yeah. Circuit just declined to hear the appeal in bank, yeah. which opens the door for them. They're now ready to file for writ of certiorari. Uh, are you confident that this will survive uh, the current makeup of the U.S. Supreme Court? I think you've asked me this question at least nine times uh, since we passed the law. Okay, fair enough. You may be the ninth uh, questioner uh, of the same thing, Um, and that's fair. I I, I still believe that as as, uh, everybody that uh, voted on the law and voted for it, uh, that this is not only uh, a uh, legal undertaking, an appropriate undertaking um, to keep and safeguard the people of the state of Illinois, but a constitutional one, too. Okay. Governor, Governor, Governor what, what, regardless of what, what the JCAR rules say now and what they could say by the 16th, um, we know that, you know, when people register their firearms on the state police website that are deemed assault weapons, obviously, like you've said before, we don't know of the 2.4 million people who have guns, who like period, who have assault weapons. Some people have FOIA cards, don't have any guns at all. But That's right. the, the percentage of people yeah. who've registered, though, it really hasn't changed much. I guess the concern is is that you have this law in place. and The percentage has changed a lot. It's gone up uh, 50% just in the last two or three weeks, it's, the number of people you know that have registered their uh, assault do you weapons. Have, do you have concerns that more people who own assault weapons in this state are just going to ignore the law and that there could be a lot out there floating after January 1st when the law is in place? Of course, I'm concerned when people choose not to follow the law. Um, and uh, but but let's be clear: this law is intended to keep people safe across the state. It will, um, and the the truth is that we have so much, frankly, to celebrate about the fact that Illinois is a safer state than many others. We're only the ninth state to pass a, a uh, an assault weapons ban. Uh, there's been a tenth uh, since then, and I believe this will continue to grow across the 50 states. I, I, whether it'll reach every state, maybe not, but I, ultimately there needs to be a federal assault weapons ban, and I favor that. On, so on, we'll the, on, the, on the registry, why have a registry of these firearms? Yeah, I'm not sure I understand, because what you want to do is prevent people from purchasing uh, assault weapons in the state, and you want to make sure that you know where those very, very deadly weapons are, who owns them, when and if a crime is committed with one of them.